his greatest challenge ever <laughs> on the fields of Agincourt on St. Crispin's Day. Henry V faced with a multitude of French forces about to take on the greatest battle that of England's history, perhaps with the exception of the defeat of the Spanish Armada, discovers that some of his men are looking to the horizon, looking for reinforcements. <laughs> What's he that wishes so? My cousin West Merlin. No, my fair cousin. If we be marked to die, we are enough to do our country loss. And if to live, the fewer men, the greater share of honor. God's will, I pray thee, wish not one man more. By Jove, I am not covetous for gold, nor care I who doth feed upon my cost. It yearns me not if men my garments wear, such outward things dwell not in my desires. But if it be a sin to covet honor, I am the most offending soul alive. No faith, my cousin, wish not a man from England. God's peace I would not lose so great an honor as one man more methinks would share from me for the best hope I have. Oh, do not wish one more. Rather, proclaim it, Westward, throughout my host, that he which hath no stomach to this fight, let him depart. His passport shall be made and crowns for convoy put into his purse. We would not die in that man's company that fears his fellowship to die with us. This day is called the Feast of Crispian. He that lives through this day and comes safe home will stand a tiptoe when the day is named and rouse him at the name of Crispian. He that lives through this day and sees old age shall yearly on the vigil feast his neighbors and say, Tomorrow is St. Crispian. Then will he strip his sleeve and show his scars and say, These wounds I have on Crispin's day. Old men forget, yet all shall be forgot. But he'll remember with advantages what feats he did that day. Then shall our names, familiar in his mouth as household words, Harry the King, Bedford and Exeter, Warwick and Talbot, Salisbury and Gloucester be in their flowing cups freshly remembered. This story shall the good man teach his son, and Crispin Crispian shall ne'er go by from this day to the ending of the world, but we in it shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers, for he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother, be he ne'er so vile this day, shall gentle his condition, and gentlemen in England now abed shall think themselves a curse they were not here, and hold their manhoods cheap, whilst any speaks that fought with us upon St. Crispin's Day.